Hello, everyone, and thank you for attending our, our uh, webinar uh, about the um, content management system and some of the improvements that we've made in Connected Business 13 for the e-commerce module. So let's get started. So welcome to our Content Management Made Easy webinar. I'm Gary Harrison. I'm the Vice President of Operations and Development here at Connected Business. And sitting next to me, I have Ryan So, who is our e-commerce team lead. Uh, before we begin, since this is our first webinar, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to the webinar and remind you that we have webinars coming up almost every business day <laughs> for the next two months. So every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night for the next several months, uh, we're going to do these webinars to highlight some of the exciting features in our application. There are some features in the application that are very let's see, complex, I guess is the best word uh, uh, to describe it, um, very powerful features if you know how to use them. So we wanted to do these webinars so this way customers can see how these features are designed, how they work, and how that they can use them to improve their business. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the first one. You can see the, uh, rem the other webinars that we have set up on our website at connectedbusiness.com. Uh, to see the webinars, you just click under our community, click on the community events, and a listing of the webinars will be there uh, for you to uh, sign up for. So after this webinar is finished, uh, feel free to sign up for as many webinars as you'd like to. We'll also make the videos of the webinars available online, so this way you can see the webinars that you missed. All right, from there I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to Mr. Ryan So, and he's going to show the brand new dashboard that we have in Connected Business 13. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Joseph So, and uh, I'll be showing you the new dashboard for e-commerce. So first, let's go to Connected Business Client. And let's try to log in. On the e-commerce module, let's go to the web store form. And let's select the existing website. So here in the website, we have a new tab called User Account. Here, it lists all the user accounts available in Connected Business, and uh, you can provide those user account access to the uh, admin site for the e-commerce by checking the web access. So let's go to the admin site of e-commerce. So this is the new login. Let's try to sign in using one of the Connected Business account. This is the new dashboard uh, of the e-commerce. As you can see here on the left side, the upper part, uh, we have here the stock alert. So basically it shows up here all the items that uh, are already below the stock level. The stock level can be controlled via app config. And below it is the visitor list of your website. This ties up to Google Analytics. So as you can see here, we have some options to change. Uh, what specific date you want to view for the site visitors. And here we have uh, some shortcut like days, we have weeks, and we also have months and years. So this shows up specific information to your website. And below it we have some uh, important store setting uh, listed down here. And on the upper right hand we have the sales overview. So we also have an option to view for today, this week, this month, and this year. So for today, we don't have any orders, but yesterday we have one. And our revenue for today is zero, and yesterday we have 97. So if we'll view this week, so for this week we have one orders, and on previous week we have four. So basically our revenue for, today, for this week is around $97, but on the previous week we have 893 Basically, let's try to create an order here, so at least we can show some information on the today's list. So here, let's try to log in as one of the customer of the website. And let's browse for an item that we can order. 
So let's add this item to the cart. Let's continue on with the checkout. And let's select shipping option. Now on the payment, let's try using a test account here. Click continue checkout. And let's place an order. So here we have created a new SO and let's go back to the admin site. Let's refresh the dashboard. Now we have one order for today but still we have a revenue of zero. So let's go to the IS client, connected business client and convert the sales order created into an invoice. So here, let's convert the sales order into invoice. And let's view the invoice itself. So let's go to the payment and capture the payment. Okay, it's successful. Let's close this form and let's post this invoice. So now let's go back to our admin site and refresh the dashboard. So now we have a sales of $139. So this is for today. And below the sales overview are the listing of new customers. So they have the customer code, the name, and the date they registered in the website. And to the right side also here, we have a recent web orders listing. So it lists down the most current uh, sales order created on the website, together with the total. And below it is the sales overview. So here uh, we can see a specific date where a uh, sales order is created. So for this one, we have here January 10. We have a total sales of 486. So we also have here for January 14, 17, 18. And if you want to view for a weekly sales report, so here in the week two, we have a total sales of 486. The week three, we have 893. And the week four, we have $237. So this is the new dashboard of the e-commerce. So the next one is the CMS content editing. Basically this one, uh, you will be allowed to modify specific content of your website via the storefront and not going to the connected business client. So let's go back to the admin site. And here in the menu on the top, let's go to tools. Let's go and click the content editor. So now it will open up a new tab showing the store site. And here on the upper part, we have a switch button where you can switch either in browse mode or design mode. So in design mode, as you can see, some of the content here that you can modify has a pencil and a green background on it. And the links doesn't work because in this area, you are allowed to modify the content. So let's try modifying a specific content on your website. Let's click this one. So as you can see here, this one is a string resource. So here we have a menu that home and the value is home. So basically if we go back to the connected business client, this is the same thing as modifying the string resource. So here, say menu default. Menu home. So basically this one, and the value here is the same thing we're seeing here. So if we change the value for this one, like for example, let's make this one as a default and save, it will automatically change here. And let's go back to the client. 
load it again. So here, the value changes. So instead of going back and forth to the connected business client, you can actually modify some of the website content via the storefront. So these are string resources that you can modify. And here, you can also modify a topic. So this topic is called Home Top Intro. So as you can see here, instead of opening up a simple uh, editing window, now we have uh, more options, more advanced options for editing an HTML content. So here, you can view the HTML source code. You can modify anything as you like. And there's also a preview button where you can preview the final design. So if we modify this content, Let's say let's, let's delete the content below the image. Save our changes. It automatically reflects on the website. So let's select browse mode. Let's browse some item. So let's say you have an item here that doesn't have an image. Let's switch to design mode and just click the image. We can actually upload an image here. So if you click yes, it will create images for other sizes. And if you want to add another one, so now we have two images. So let's close this window. Let's switch to browse mode. And here, you have the uploaded images. And if you go back to the manufacturer's window, it also has now an image. So here on the product page, uh, we also allow to modify some information, like the name of the item. So you can modify this one. Save changes, it will automatically save or reflect the changes to the product page. Same with the content here, the description. So this description here is an HTML content, so it opens up this HTML window. So you can modify the content here or modify it from here. Save changes, and the changes automatically reflect on the website. So these are the changes now. So same with the buttons here, the Add to Cart button, you can modify this one. Save your changes. Now the text on the button changed to the new one. So these are the new capability of CMS editing via the storefront. Everyone, thank you for attending the meeting today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a really exciting meeting. We're going to talk about how you can use our inventory, uh, some of the advanced features in the inventory module to be able to keep track of um, reservations and allocations this way, especially if you're selling across multiple sales channels, you'll be able to keep track of your stock better and, uh, and, and be able to increase your inventory turns, improve the profitability of your company and, and the efficiency of your company as well. So, if you are available tomorrow around this time, uh, or actually a few hours earlier, um, we'll be having that uh, webinar, and it'll be a lot of fun.